plants are touching the water surface definitely need trimmed. So I think you agree that tank is a mess and it needs a trim. And what better way to do it than show you how I trim my stem plants and how I create a dense bush. But first, let's talk about tools because there are so many types of scissors and pin sets and lots of tools and which ones do we use? What ones are useful for trimming stem plants? Most jobs around the aquarium, I like these. These are kind of the ADA short curved type scissors. They're good all rounder. You can trim the carpeting plants because of the curve. They're great for trimming stem plants. They've got quite a lot of long blade. So it's useful for almost all tasks. So generally I would grab these before I grab any other pair, like wave type scissors. These are extremely useful for getting right down to the bottom if you have a carpet. But for the stem plant bush, these aren't particularly useful. Spring type scissors are really useful for trimming things like moss, or if you want to individually trim single stems, that can be extremely useful um, because with other ones you can kind of easily just clip a bunch of stems but with this one, you can individually pick out the individual stems and snip them off one by one. So that can be very useful. And I think what we're gonna do using today is a, a combination of these two, and I'll explain that after. And obviously we'll need a pair of good quality pin sets for replanting the stems once we cut them. So let's talk about this tank. Obviously it's a mess. Um, we need to be trimming um, this, these stem plants on the left here up like this, which I have done already a wee bit. And there's multiple different types in there. We're not going to go through the uh, species exactly above everything. But uh, this right hand side, obviously, is what we're going to look at today. We need to be trimming this up like this. So basically have a valley in the rule of thirds, which is right here. And, um, you know, one third, two thirds. And uh, trimming this stem plant up like this so that it creates this curved shape as well. And in this, this stem plant here, the red one is Rutala Blood Red SG. Very cool red variety of Rutala. Um, and then there's a few other stems in here um, called Tonina or Tonia uh, Fluitins. Um, I'm not quite sure how you're exactly meant to pronounce it. But we're going to be trimming those as well. They are trimmed a wee bit different to the Ritala. I'll talk about that in a minute. I want to explain what happens when you trim a stem plant such as this. If I trim it from any point on here, two new growth buds will appear. So we've got this one single stem here. If I trim it, there'll be two, two stems coming. Actually, let me explain that in a better way. Okay, excuse the envelope that we're doing this on, but basically, let's cut this in half for now and work over here. Basically, what we've got here is some stem plants. Yeah. And then if we trim it here, what will happen is at these, these little points here, these little points, you'll get two, you'll get a branching effect. So you get two little stem plants coming off of that point. So basically what we're looking at here is we have a stem plant here and say we, well, two stem plants, let's say, we trim it here, we've trimmed it here, that we have two new little plants coming off of where we trimmed it previously and the same here. And then if we did the same and the same again, like over and over again, we'd current, we'd have something that looks like this eventually, you know, and it'd have this sort of curved effect or like as you trim it and where you trim it, you have this sort of like shaped effect and you get a canopy. Under here there would be single stemmed where the substrate level is, but you'd have this canopy, dense canopy, and this is how you get your really, really dense bush. Now what you've got to look out for when you're doing this is that the old stems, these old stems, don't deteriorate and create waste in the aquarium. So every so often you have to cut it right back to here, pull up the roots, so the roots are like down here, you have to pull up the roots, everything gets pulled up um, and you clean it and then you replant the healthy tops. But that doesn't happen every, uh, too often. Sorry for that really bad sketch, but it's really important that you know and you understand the, the concept behind what happens when you trim a stem plant. And then you can move on to actually trimming your stems and understanding what's going to happen and how you shape that bush. So first I'm just going to be pulling out these taninas. It doesn't quite work the same when you trim it as the retalas. Um, the old growth really deteriorates very quickly, as you can see at the bottom, very bottom right here. And um, if you trim it, it doesn't really produce as many side shoots like the Rotala does, as we were just explaining. So what I do is I just remove it like this and I will simply make a trimming. I'll just cut the stem down a wee bit. So remove all that old growth. I will rem remove the, the leaves here um, by hand and then I'll replant that uh, healthy growth back into the substrate.
The next part is using this, these scissors to um, trim that into that nice bush. Oh, and uh, if you did notice, yes, my beta does have these little cysts on the side of it. it I'm aware of that, and uh, it's just in case you picked that up. It's just something that's common in these types of bettas, but uh, he seems to be doing okay uh, for now. So basically, the process I go through when stimming, trimming these stem plant bushes is, I want to start from the front, um, and what I mean is looking at the front of the tank. I will then trim to the level I want. I will then look from the side of the tank, so I'll come to, I'll come to this side over here, um, over here, and I will look down the side of the tank, and I will then trim from the front to the back to get at that sort of, um, you know, gradient from the front to the back and a gradient from where I want it to be low and where I want it to be high from the front. If that makes sense, hope great. Um, but I'm going to do that and explain it. So um, we're just going to, you know, not be shy and just go ahead and trim um, from the front and get that kind of height where I want it. I thought it was also important to show you what I'm trimming from the side. So as you can see, I've just trimmed it flat like this, straight across the top. And what I want to do now, if I let a bit of light in so you can see, all these stem plants are blocking the light. Um, I want to be trimming um, down like this, so that I can create that sort of shape from the side as well as from the front. The next part is where my method might change from other people's methods. And I have done the other method in previous, let me explain what the other methods are. So basically, some people take the tips they've just trimmed and replant them back into the bush. They take one of these and they basically, so here's the bush and they just plant that into the bush like, like so. So the actual, the substrate level is way down here. So what they're doing is they're just planting it into the top of the bush. They're not actually planting it into the substrate level. Now that can come along with some problems, such as nutrient deficiencies, because the plant isn't getting its nutrients from the substrate. If you're lean dosing, you're not adding a lot of nitrates to the water, um, and you're adding root tabs, or like you're basically using bottom root fertilization for your nitrates. And people do this because they want the red colors. Um, your, your stem plants that are not planted in the substrate might have problems in accessing that nitrate. So it's kind of like, well, depends, you know? In a, in a gallery type of setting, in an aquarium store, they could do this, they could plant it into the bush. And if they do that, it would look perfect or close to perfect, even after they trim it. And sometimes if you trim it and you don't replant the stem, little tiny stems in the top of the bush, it can look a bit like it just has been trimmed. So there is that kind of, you know, you can do it, it works. Um, just be aware that, you know, just be careful. You might have to actually add more nutrients to the water because these uh, little plants, although the, their, their little roots will make their way down to the bottom of the substrate, it'll just take them a lot of time. And between then and now, um, you know, where are they gonna get their nutrients from? From the water column and they need the nitrates as well. So they need to add nitrates to the water column for that. It's just something to think about. Just a thought. So let me just take one of these long stem plants and show you. So I'll put it in here and I'll plant it into the substrate. I don't need to plant it really deep into the substrate, but as long as it's touching the substrate, those roots will make their way down into the deep layers of the substrate. So that's what I do. And I don't just take, you know, little tiny trimmings. Like some people would even take a little tiny trimming like this. You can't really see it, right? Like this little thing and just place it there. You know, just place it into the bush and not quite as small as that maybe, but you get the point. So we'll just take a little tiny trimming and we'll just place it straight into the bush. Just like, like that. And that little tiny trimming in there will have to grow its own roots and get its, what, its nutrients from the water column. I just don't do that in my aquarium. This is the very last thing before I kind of wrap this all up. Um, the tonina or the tonia, uh, fluitins, you just simply take this and you run your fingers all the way down, just taking all the leaves off like that. Little neat way, and then you can simply just take this and break it with the scissors or just snip it with uh, your fingers like that. And you replant that healthy top right there.
So guys, that is the trimming done. I've just got to replant a couple more stem plants. Um, these stem plants up the top, obviously you could uh, gift them away, sell them, replant them if you want to do that method. Um, it's just not always possible to replant all of the stem plants. If you are discarding them, don't throw them down the toilet, don't put them into the waterways, put them in the bin um, or put them in a compost heap even better. Um, just trying to avoid you know, contaminating your local waterways and um, do your best, do your part basically. Um, and uh, yeah, as I said, it's impossible to always throw, uh, keep them or uh, put them in a immersed bucket or you know give them away. So throwing them away, throwing them away is often you know the only option. So just do it responsibly. Um, and with that, um, I'm going to do a water change, but we've already done loads of those in the last pretty few videos. So I'm going to cut the video short here and just a nice little simple uh, video about trimming stem plants. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you took something from that. Um, and uh, hopefully I can make another video very soon and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.